Let's learn how to knit with the Creativity for Kids Learn to Knit Pocket Scarf Kit. This kit includes everything you need for your first knitting project. Inside you'll find yarn, color-coded knitting needles, an instruction booklet, a needle threader, plastic darning needle, embroidered patch, and a gift tag. To begin, let's learn how to cast on. First, you'll need to make a slip knot by wrapping your yarn around two fingers. Bring your fingers through the loop to pinch one of the strands of yarn and pull through. You can tighten the knot by pulling on the ends. Slide the slip knot onto the green knitting needle. This is going to be your first stitch. To add more stitches, insert the purple needle into that loop behind the green needle. Wrap the yarn that's attached to your ball around the back of the purple needle and between the two needles from left to right. Then pull the tip of the purple needle down through the loop, catching that wrapped yarn and pulling it through. Finally, transfer the loop onto the green needle. That is your second stitch. Repeat this way, inserting your purple needle into the closest stitch to the tip of the green needle, wrapping the working yarn around, and using the tip of the purple needle to pull the yarn through the loop. Finish by placing the new stitch onto the green needle. Continue like this until you have 12 stitches on your green needle. Now we can start knitting. The knit stitch is worked a lot like the cast on. Insert the purple needle into the first stitch on the green needle. Wrap your yarn around the same way as before, going from back to front, left to right. Then use the tip of the purple needle to pull the wrapped yarn through the stitch. This time, instead of putting the loop back onto the green needle, you'll let it drop off of the green needle and keep it on the purple needle. Again, insert your needle, wrap the yarn around the back between the needles, pull the yarn through the loop using the tip of your needle, and then drop the stitch from the green needle. Keep going like this until you get to the end of the row. Once you've knit every stitch in the row, your green needle will be empty and your stitches will all be on the purple needle. Then put the purple needle into your left hand and the green needle into your right hand. You're always going to be working from the left needle onto the right needle. Repeat the knit stitch the same way as you did in the first row. Many left-handed people find it easiest to knit right-handed. If you prefer to knit left-handed, the process is simply a mirror image of these same steps. That's all you need to know. I'm going to continue knitting back and forth until I've got about 12 inches of yarn left on my ball. To join a new ball of yarn, just grab the tail from the new yarn. Instead of working the first stitch with the yarn you've been using, put the yarn of the new ball between your stitches, leaving a long tail, and continue knitting as before. Continue knitting, just tug on the tails to keep them tight. I'll show you how to weave in these tails later. Keep on knitting until your scarf measures 56 inches long. And don't forget, there's a ruler printed inside of your instruction booklet that you can use to measure your work. Now let's finish our knitting by binding off. 
to begin knit two stitches. Using the tip of your left hand needle, take the stitch further from the end of the needle and bring it up and over the first stitch and off of the end of the needle. You'll just have one stitch left on your right hand needle. Knit another stitch and repeat, taking that back stitch up and off the needle. Repeat this until you reach the end of the row. Once there's just one stitch left, slip it off of the needle, cut the yarn tail, and pull it through the loop to tighten it. Now that you've finished knitting, let's add the pockets. All you need to do is use the needle threader to thread the yarn tail or a long length of yarn onto the darning needle. Then fold the end of your scarf up about five inches from the end to make a pocket. Whip stitch down the end and secure with a knot. Repeat this on the other side of the pocket and then make another pocket on the other end of the scarf. Next, let's weave in the ends. Begin by threading the darning needle with the tails and just weave the end in and out of the stitches to hide the tail. Trim it close with your scissors. Finally, let's embellish the scarf with fringe. Cut 18 strands of yarn, each about eight inches long. Fold each strand in half and draw the folded end through the eye of the needle. Put your needle front to back through the end of the scarf and then remove the darning needle. Pull the yarn ends through the loop. Repeat this across with nine strands on each end. Finish your tassels by trimming them even. This kit also includes an embroidered tag that you can add to your project and a gift tag that you can use when sharing your creation with your friends. Now that you know how to knit, you can use your needles again and again. Find more yarn for your next project at lionbrand.com. Happy stitching!